Now, let's use the two main patterns and fills generated and saved by the Drum RPG program. Use a MIDI sequencer, for example Cubase. Select File, Import MIDI File. Select a drum pattern. Let's start with Enter Tom 03. OK. Select the MIDI output device. In my case, it's an audio. Then import a main pattern. Enter Tom 16. Drag the imported pattern to the end of the first track. Now, remove any extra tracks. And to copy it, Control C, Control V. So, that's the drums for the verse. Let's try the second pattern for the pre chorus fill import MIDI file enter Tom won't 10. Okay. Drag that to the end. Remove the extra tracks. And for the main chorus pattern, import MIDI file enter Tom won't 23. that to the end, copy it, control C, control V, paste it a few times, it's probably enough, remove the extra tracks. As the drum patterns were generated at different tempos, I'll open the project tempo track and delete any tempo changes imported at the beginning. There's one. Hit delete. Have a scroll through, see if any more. No, seem to have got more. Now return to the beginning of the track and play the drum sequence. So, to conclude this demo, a MIDI sequencer was used to string together patterns generated by the Drum RPG program to form a drum track for a new composition.